Hey, all. Thanks for rejoining. Oof. Technical difficulties. Hey, guys. Oh. Is this better? <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. I'm so sorry about that. No, I mean, it's the name of the game when we go in on this internet shit, man. It's all good. <laughs> well, he's remote right now. He's not normally here, so that's oh. what's... We had to get him on the Wi-Fi, though, and I think we're good oh, now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, um, it's better. One of the questions I really had was um, just kind of the inspiration around Ripe. When I listen to it, I get 70s, I get soul, I get a little bit of black exploitation, and then the next thing I know, I, I'm hearing, like, these songs that have this feel of hip-hop so much, and I'm thinking, I could hear Doom rapping over this. I could hear Rock Marciano and a lot of indie rappers, and... I was wondering if you could just kind of enlighten us as to, because this sounds different than, than Buck, right? Um, in my opinion. And, and I love that. Um, mm -hmm. I think the title yeah. of this album artwork is great, but I just kind of love to hear from, from you guys what you were aiming for with this EP. Uh, we were highly experimenting. Yeah. And just recording, this is our first shit that we ever produced ourselves. So okay. we were just like, we were like, just going for it i don't know it was just felt right we were making beats that's the kind of shit we like you know i feel like we also don't want people to get it twisted that we're just some kind of like throwback soul band or something and right. like they're like our ears are bigger than that type of shit so like we kind of wanted to open the door to a different perspective on what we do type thing i think in the long run that's what we're trying to go kind of we, we love hip-hop yeah we love hip -hop. like it's an essential yeah. part of our Musical identity. And the study of music, man. You know, the yeah. study of hip hop is, is it's rich, you know. Who are some Especially of your Especially in the IE like that Doom. MF Doom for sure. Yeah. Doom for is for sure. sure. Doom. Doom Alay. Freestyle Fellowship. Fuck okay. yeah. Bones Bugs. Biggie. I love all that. That's Sugar great. Free. Sugar Free, yeah. Uh, Sugar Free, DJ, DJ Quick. Quick. Yeah. All the West Coast shit, pretty much G-Funk at heart. You know what I mean? Like, that shit is like, I heard that shit when I was like three, you know? Like, yeah, it, was just, it was just there, you know? All the Southern time. California. Just as much as fucking Banda or some some Mexican regional shit. Like, mm -hmm. you just hear it all the time. Everyone's playing it. It's at all the parties. Like, yeah. DJ Quick, obviously. For sure. Yeah. Yeah, I mean... For real, so, DJ Quick, been, that one album with him with the Braves in the front. Yeah, 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 yeah. The Safe and Sound, I think, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Rhythmalism, no. I grew up in the age of rhythm Rhythmalism. That shit was my shit, for yeah. sure. For sure, for sure. Um, so, you know, what? how did you guys end up with Big Crown? Big Crown, uh, doing uh, Big so the, Yeah, um, on the soul scene, um, how'd you guys end up? So, um, Leon Michaels, uh, Leon Michaels pretty much, uh, he met Chicano Batman and produced their album, Freedom is Free. Yeah. And we were in the vicinity. Those are like the big, Chicano Batman is like the big homies. Um, we always kind of look to them for a lot of advice and just like what and move to make type shit. Eduardo recorded our, our, e our first EP or our second EP. Yeah, second EP. Yeah, second EP. And he he was hanging with with um, Leon. with Leon, and he was like, "Yo, can I hear anything that you've been recording?" And he showed him our stuff, and then like what, like two years after that, two years he, later, he hit, us, hit, up hit us up to send wow. demos. Interesting. And then, um, you guys, did you guys record part of this album at his house or his studio? Buck? Yeah, yeah, uh, uh, yeah. Buck or 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 right? No, Buck. I'm saying. That was recorded at, at, at his studio. Yeah. Did you say? Yeah. Yeah, thought, that was in yeah. the Diamond Mine. In Diamond oh. Mine and at his home studio. Yeah, the vocals. The vocals were all done at his home studio. Okay. Some some stuff was recorded in L.A. too. Yeah, that's true. Like overdubs and shit. Yeah, sound the, factory. Your dad, your dad, they recorded. Yeah, Peter Pan was recorded out here at the sound factory. Yeah, the homie choir. The homie choir, yeah. <laughs> Um, how, how do you kind of decide which songs you're going to put vocals to and, and others you leave as an instrumental?
I, I think every song has its own life. Like, yeah. and like as far as right, we were trying to do more instrumental stuff mm -hmm. for sure. Okay. That was a deliberate thing that we wanted yeah. to do. Yeah, we're kind of be like, yo, rappers, spit a verse on this. <laughs> Sample us, you know, because it was, it was kind of missing from the puzzle of what we had done so far. And we wanted to, you know, kind of dive into that realm too. Okay. But All right. Yeah, other than that, sometimes you sing and sometimes you don't. I feel like shout out to Leon Michaels. I mean, you know, uh, he's kind of the one that shed light on that being a possibility. Like, just make instrumentals too. Like, I mean, you know, he was, he does instrumental music and that shit is fucking ridiculous. So, definitely inspired by L. Michaels, I have to say. Yeah. You know, just put it out there. Is is there uh, yeah. you know, from the recording process when you were in the studio, Leon, that really stands out in your mind is kind of like a woke moment or just something that you took away and was like, I can't believe it. That was awesome. Mm. Uh, just how chill he was. Yeah. It, the chill is full. It, I guess like we, we were pretty novice in recording and yeah. And like one of the biggest things was vibe. Like right. recordings, you need a vibe. You cannot have a whack vibe at all. And we didn't. We never met Leon. We didn't know him. And then like he was. He might as well have been from the IE or from Rialto or like it, it was very like on some family shit and that. Like super quick. Yeah. Like, so like the first. The first day was a little bit like. Stiff, yeah, a little, little stiff, but after that, it was like we we're and we're, we're playing dice and smoking little joints. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was super fun. We got to meet his family, and like now yeah. they're a part of the extended family of our shit, and like that is just super important when you're recording. Very cool, yeah. Um, <laughs> oh, you know, Eric, we're putting you to sleep. <laughs> no, well, my next my next question is for him. So. I'm really big into to critical listening, especially the drums. And I've listened to yeah. everything available on streaming services from you guys. And I feel like, and this is a compliment, but you were, were drumming on steroids mm. on, on this record. I mean, you came out of your shell. The drumming was different. The fills, the patterns. And I was just, I was blown away in the sense that I said, you could listen to this just for the drums and you would get an education out of it because it was that good. And on top of that, when you see the growth from each of your albums as a drummer, this one is like, I've been talking about it yeah. nonstop. I said, holy shit. It's, 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 this I, is especially a long day. I mean, the drums. Oh, on yeah. Eric, Eric yeah, engineered, so. Eric engineered really pretty yeah. much the whole shit. Like, yeah, this is oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. us building a studio is basically Eric's big idea and, you know, we supported and we're stoked. Yeah, I just, I feel like when when we recorded Buck, like it, like uh, that recording in a studio like that was kind of new to me. And I just, I, yeah, I just feel like now that we have our own studio, I mean, we're just in here like, what, well, like we're in here like three or four days a week. Mm -hmm. Like it just got some way more comfortable being in a studio and like recording and, and uh, just the process in general. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Way more acquainted. Wow, that's something else. Um, go ahead, you're up next. <laughs> um, all right, so I, I guess, well, where are we at, right here? Yeah. Well, I guess we kind of already talked about it, but why don't you guys give us a, a little bit uh, behind, you know, how the EP right came about. Um, you know, obviously it was done during the pandemic, so, I mean, what, what was the idea behind it, the inspiration behind it? It sounds like you guys were just kind of like in sort of a transitionary period. And so, yeah. So what would you say? We we were like just recording shit and we were just experimenting in here because we, we got, we just started building the studio and we started sending stuff to Leon Michaels and Danny Eclips, who are, who are, who's like the other head of the of Big Crown. And we didn't really like intend to make a record, but we started, they started being like, this sounds sick. Let's release it. <laughs> yeah, Basically, much. Leon's like, yeah, that sounds dope. Let's go. <laughs> so, yeah, who, yeah. Who did yeah. the, who did the artwork? Because the, the artwork is awesome. I love it. I mean. Yo, I mean, my boy, he's in the chat right now. Yeah, Timote, Timote, stand Timote. up. Timote, stand up. That's uh, Timothy Lynch. 
Yeah. Uh, he's a fucking old friend of ours, and you know we were super happy. Like we grew up making art and skateboarding with this cat. Like this is our fucking a one since day one. On some yeah, Rialto bro. shit, but we had we knew we had to get him on, and and he fucking killed it, bro. So shout out to Timote right there, baby. In the chat, yeah. That's Timote. Follow that. him. All around, it's uh yes, yeah, really. Were you going for that type of vibe? Did you give him points like, hey, we want to have something like this? Or were you like, just do your thing? Uh, no, we I, 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 we were kind of like, kind of developed a little concept of like, you know, ripe meaning we're kind of stepping into the studio on our own. Okay. And our skills as musicians maturing to the point that we can actually record ourselves. You know what I mean? Like, it's kind of like a we're getting a foothold in that and we're maturing in that process. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. You know, right me is is ready for the picking. You know, and it's ready for the sample. Nah, just kidding. But uh, <laughs> but um, yeah. So you know, I just drew up a little doodle and I sent it to this fool, and then he knew exactly what to do. Really, you know. That's that's so awesome. I I absolutely love that. Um, I had one question uh, from Buck. There's uh, let's see, reclaim. Was there any association or, or inspiration from Eugene McDaniels on this track or no? Mm, I could say for sure, yeah. Okay. Well, in a way, not intentionally. Yeah, like I, when I wrote that one, it was, I was honestly like, I was listening to a bunch of like Sly Stone. <laughs> but e Eugene McDaniels, like, that's a go to, you yeah. know, like that shit is just, I've been heard that. Yeah. Apocalypse and like yeah, yeah. that feels sick as fuck. That's so true. like super definitely, hard. you know, it it wasn't intentional, but it, that fits too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So okay. um, yeah, just just a thing about Buck right now. So the title, or I mean the the opening track, breathe. I just gotta let you guys know, you guys have entered my subconscious now because like anytime I'm rest out, I'm always <laughs> I'm always I've always breathe. But now in my head, I sing it like, like <laughs> I hold that breathe. But now it's like breathe. Yeah, like, yeah. It sounds, yeah. That's what's up. That's dope. It's literally the point of the yeah, song. That's the yeah. function, yeah. man. That's, that's the function. It makes me feel good. That, yeah. Fuck yeah. Yeah. That, that that's what that song is to you. Yeah. No. And honestly, the harmonies on on Buck. Um, if if anybody in the chat hasn't checked out the first album. It's, I mean, you guys, I mean, harmonize with the best one. Uh, you know, it's just, I mean, really a great project all the way through. And, and like uh, Wax said, that we really think Ripe is a, the, you know, a, a nice progression in the sound, too. But I think it's the best work today, straight up. Um, I, I love every, every single song when I think about what Long Day. I think about, you know, 20 joints i'm doing my designs for ig i'm, I'm researching the tvs on no sound and i'm like that is like theme music uh um, well, I, <laughs> I i just track and and the whole thing for me goes like this i'm like i only got eight tracks <laughs> yeah. but enough though you understand it's to me it's like enough it's um it's like concentrated it's like you take a bite into that orange and you just get full of flavor um that's what I think about when I think about this. But what I need to know is, are we going to see more of this sound in, in, in the future from you? Or do you think you'll move in a different direction? Um, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> That's as far probably, as I can I tell I would say you. probably. Probably. I mean, you know, there's still much, much to be had, but... You know... Yeah, we're, we're, we're writing a bunch. We've been writing ever, ever since... We did that record and then... We just kept we got, going. Like, tons of We've stuff. got a bunch of stuff. So we're, we're kind of just on. like... We're just like working, we're like playing a lot and recording a lot and just trying to figure out like, I feel like it'll present itself. Yeah. Like yeah. What the vibe will be, you know? Everything mm -hmm. that we do just we comes to, naturally. We try to like just be open to whatever, you know? Well, you know, one thing about, you know, not to keep talking about Long Day, but I, <laughs> I think we'd be remiss if we the video for Long Day. <laughs> it's <perfect> it's <laughs> song itself. So what was it like? <laughs> Doing that video, I mean, you know, who came up with that idea? It was in, yeah, oh, he yeah. did. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I was just fucking stoned. And that, I mean, bro, it was just like, it was just the scenario that we would find ourselves in if we were in some movie type shit, you know? We'd be blazing yeah. it. And then well, the alien comes and tries to jam, <laughs> you know? Like, that's just, I, I to me, made so much sense, especially with the sound of the song. Like, 
Tony wrote the song, and I was like, Tony's always on some UFO shit, you know? Some <laughs> shit. You know what I mean? Like, he's on some fucking oh. other <laughs> quadrants of the galaxy type shit. So that's what that shit sounded like to me, you know? Um, something from outer space, for sure. Exactly. That's my shit. Is Cortex or Rufus, so those are like prog rock, psych rock groups. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did that, did that influence any of this at all? Because there were like moments in the song where I was like, ooh, I wonder if it came from there. Ooh. Mm. No, mostly from like mind design or what? Like, what were you yeah, thinking about? Yeah, I don't know. Honestly, I guess I was listening to a lot of like mind design. Yeah. Um, uh, a lot of, I was also listening to a lot of, um, to be honest, Pete Rock. Yeah. Like Pete Strumentals and things like that. And, and then I'm I'm always just listening to jazz, and one of the main influences for shit like that, I think, is uh, Stark Reality. Yes, yes, Ooh. Stark Reality. I can totally get that now. <laughs> yeah, it's my like, favorite band. Like, it's that's, my favorite band of all time. That's such a huge part of like what we do is is Stark Reality. So mm -hmm. wow! Shout out to Monty Stark. Shout, right. out, shout out to Monty Stark. Shout out to Stark Reality. Shout out to Stones Throw for putting them on Ooh. again. Oh yeah. That, Tough record to find for a long, long time. And, and mm -hmm. a, oh yeah. yeah. Um, Shout and, out to Egon <laughs> and Madlib. <laughs> While we're at it, <laughs> right? keep it going. Should we kick off no, that? Well, actually, we one. Do this short. You know, so I, I got uh, one more question before we uh, go into the RPM round. Um, oh, sure. So you guys did KCRW. Was that in March of last year? Yeah, just before the yeah. shutdown. Yeah. It was like the la one of the last gigs. I mean that that is like to me like especially like I'm um, I'm like I guess the modern soul scene that seems like sort of a rite of passage or something for people coming up like what would how was that I mean what was it like doing the KCRW show? Uh, it was very professional and nerve wracking. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> pretty wild. Yeah. to be honest, but I it was, was like, fun. Oh, but yeah, was, it was it was kind of a I mean for me you know or I'll, I think I think all, all of us are really, just like. Uh, <laughs> How did we get here? <laughs> yeah, it was, it was pretty surreal. Yeah, it's kind of surreal. Yeah, but the big yeah. moment, guys, as a band, and then I mean, and then contrast that with with everything shutting down. Shortly, I guess you guys are fortunate you got to do that before everything did shut down. No, I oh, definitely. Yeah. And I, yeah. and I don't really feel like we took that much of an L uh, with the shutdown, bro. Like it locked us in this fucking shoebox to make shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, and, yeah. Like, we, we learned. We learned. We learned and grew a ton. On, in the pandemic super crazy like a hyperbolic time chamber dragon ball z shit you know what i mean <laughs> yeah, like, like, now i feel like <laughs> for real though like we're a professional ass band and before we were just like hopefully we'll get there <laughs> yes yeah. you guys are there now, let me tell yeah. you yeah, yeah you're right there for sure That's thank you cool. thank you i appreciate it man thank yeah, you yeah definitely one of the tops of the year for me um and i think if we're going to call out eps it's got to be the ep of the year Song for song. Wow, thank you. Thank you, G. Thank you. Like that. Um, I mean, that Alchemist shit slaps, just saying. <laughs> Damn, I listened to that shit today. Hey, that but, but you know what I'm saying, though? It's like when you look at the elements and the background from everyone involved and, and the evolution, the growth, all of that, you can hear it, right? And, and you can see it with the design of the cover and the words and, and kind of when you, you know, absorb what's going on, you're like, wow, this is a great sound. And nothing sounds strange about it or like this isn't really their style. It, it flows track after track, which is, you know, you can't beat that, right? That's kind of what you want when you when you put together a project like this. Definitely, definitely. All right, RPMs. So, you guys are right? All right, real yeah. quick, these are 10 quick questions. Um, we'll, we'll go from, what do we do, right to left? Right to left for in terms of the answers. Right Sounds good. One word answers. Uh, if you don't want to answer any one of the questions, that's not a problem. Yeah, exactly. Just like that. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. All right. Get, we get the RPMs music on. Let's do it. <laughs> All right. Musical inspiration growing up. Herbie Hancock. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Oh, I have to go. Oh, okay. I see how it goes. I'm sorry. I'm fucking this all up. <laughs> uh, Bob Dylan. Bad Bob. brains. Bad brains. Yes. Uh, what are you listening to right now? MF Doom. Alchemist. Alchemist. Uh. Last record you bought? Uh, uh, I don't remember. Go. Uh, Zap. 
DJ Harrison speaker box. Mm. Got that shit on vinyl. I was so happy. <laughs> Favorite album of all time. Oh, this wow. is what people usually opt out of. Just first one that comes to mind. I mean, you don't have to. You don't have. There's to a right going on. What's that? Slide phone. There's a right going on. Okay. Oh uh, fuck! Yeah, you fucked me up with this shit. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm up here tripping. Just... Um, how about favorite record? Favorite Doom record? New shit of oh, Gibbs. Mad Lib. Bandana. I fuck with that That's shit. Tough. That's tough. All right. Four oh, five. wait. Uh, new shit would be uh, Kryptonite on Dolphin Records. I need if you haven't heard that shit, check it out. Lord Byron, Pink Sifu, right. and Liv. Oh. Okay. All right. It's fucking sick as fuck. You prefer uh, uh, so 45s or LPs? LPs. Both. Yeah, both. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Black vinyl or color vinyl? Uh, black. It sounds better. Black, I guess. <laughs> I fuck with colors. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, colors. Favorite color. Favorite color. Boom. I don't know. Red. Red. Burgundy. Actually, wait. Hold up. Burgundy. <laughs> <laughs> Classy. Green. I like green. All right. Favorite dessert? Churros. Churros. Cinnamon roll. Uh, almond croissant. Almond croissant. Bang. <laughs> uh, favorite drink? <laughs> what is that? Favorite. Uh, cut out one more time. Favorite drink? Favorite, like, alcoholic drink or? Anything you want. It could be water. It could be whiskey. Martinelli's. <laughs> <laughs> Bad. Uh, orange bang. Uh, coffee. Ooh, that's a close but... second. It's a close second. Yeah, can't go wrong. Um, favorite concert and why? The last question of the lightning round. Favorite concert and why? I know. I know mine. If you... Go ahead. Uh, Fyf. The last time they did it, it was I saw fucking one. Uh, Just pick one. Rapid light. Rapid uh... fire. I guess Erica Badu. That shit was fire as fuck. Dude, my brain was melted. Um, I saw the strokes when I was 13. That shit turned me out. Wow. Ooh. Okay. I saw Buster Rhymes in high school. That shit was crazy as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> fuck yeah. That's dope. Uh, All great concerts. Yeah. Um, I want to add in. I want to add in Lee Fields with L. Michael's affair back in him. That, that shit was oh stupid. my god. Yeah. Wow. Uh, stupid. Legendary. Stupid. I couldn't believe it. Man, I'm tripping out right now. Yeah. That I'm shit is hard as fuck. My face was melted straight <laughs> up. You guys are the illest, straight up. Gentlemen, this concludes our, our fireside chat. Before we go, what I'd love is if you could just kind of tell folks what to look out for next, maybe the release date for Ripe, uh, any information that, that, that we can hold on to and, and, and kind of look forward to. I mean, uh, if you're in L.A., we'll be playing in August for the grand performances. We're going to announce that pretty soon. Uh, that's later, latter side of August. Um, we got more music coming out. We got another song called Vortex coming out in like a week or so. I'm yeah. excited. Yeah, because you guys have almost uh, released everything on the EP at this point. Yeah, we fishing it out. You know what I mean? Um, so we, we still got that. Um, Demoitis. Demoitis uh, for RSD drops, um, Record Store Day drops. We got that drop in. We got some demos. This on Saturday. There. Yeah, this Saturday. So, yeah. well, uh, okay. that's a bunch of demos from Big Crown. Yeah. Compilation. Compilation. Yeah. If you haven't gotten the Buck album, be sure to get the Buck album. Brain Story. Keep it 100, right? All day. Yeah. Hell yeah. 200. To <laughs> make that ripe EP. I'm yeah. telling you folks. That's going to blow your mind. It's their best work to date, in my opinion. Yes. I, I love Buck, but I just think this one is a special EP. And, level. man, you guys nailed yeah. it. Yeah. It's in thank the mix. Thank you. Thank you. Hit the notification. I can't wait. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. You'll be hearing from us soon. Thank you guys so much. We appreciate it. Yeah, Have peace out, man. Have Very a good man. night. Thank you. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in. Wax villain Jeff Benji. It's so dope that we get to do this together. Usually we're in two different windows on the gram, but 
Now that I'm in New York, we had to connect, make a historic moment. Appreciate y'all tuning in. Check out Brain Story, their music, great stuff, especially Ripe. Any last words? Brain Story, keep it 100. Brain Story, keep it 100. We're out.